intriguing game with the only unbeaten team remaining in the NFL. That's the Philadelphia Eagles, E-A-G-L-E-S. Farley doesn't want to hear me say that. Eagles at Arizona off the road win at Carolina. No official play in this matchup with Philadelphia laying five and the total 49. Chris Farley, I'm right back to you. I smelled something here on our Three Dog Thursday show. In fact, I looked at the numbers that say Arizona has won five in a row against Philadelphia. Different coaching staffs, yes. They don't play every year. Five in a row at home against Philadelphia covered every time. Cliff Kingsbury covered, yes. Different coaching staff uh, against Doug Peterson and company two years ago at home. I like the Cardinals for Three Dog Thursday purposes. No official play from you, but any quick thought here on Philly at Arizona late game Sunday afternoon? Yeah, I think that's a sharp look, TJ. I mean, this game is just, I have it circled too as one of those lines that's like, uh, it's just a little shady, isn't it? Every time there's a five point line too, it's like, it's almost like the odds makers don't know what to do, right? Should they be more of a favorite? Should they be less? And five is just a weird number. And the thing about Philly is they, they just, there's not much to hate about this team so far. Obviously, they went down in the first quarter last week, but look at the way they responded, right? 29 to seven finish there. I know there were some turnovers, but they played almost perfect football so far. Eventually regression has to hit, right? Like eventually there has to be a little bit of like a mental letdown. First time going uh, to the West Coast. Uh, and this is a Cardinals team who they're just tricky. They're just tricky to measure because a lot of it is Kyler Murray and what he can create. You know, JJ Watt now is coming off that you know, heart complications the previous week. So he's he's really inspired now. You know, sometimes things like that really inspire. It's Can I interject? Like that. Wasn't that incredible that, that he revealed he had to have his heart shocked back into rhythm? That's what AFib is, nothing to mess around with with your heart. He's out there playing Sunday and even got a deflected interception in the game. Uh, right. you, you know, you feel for the fine line of player safety here, but that was quite the inspirational performance for his teammates watching that around there real quick. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. Right. And then at the end of the day, these are all professional football players. They can play at a higher level. Right. I mean, that's literally, if you look at the definition of motivation in psychology, humans can go beyond what they're capable of because they're so inspired. Right. And so sometimes in those situations, you got to look at things like that, not necessarily count on it, but this is a weird spot for the Eagles. Uh, so I just wouldn't play on the Eagles here, right? I mean, in the first half, maybe it's interesting because the Cardinals have allowed more points than any other team. They've scored fewer points than any other team in the first half. And the Eagles are the number one scoring team in the first half. But it just all feels too obvious, and that's what scares me away. And by the way, Scott Kellen, I know you have no official play on this game. The Cardinals, for what it's worth, underdogs in both the first two home games with the Chiefs and with the Rams didn't win, didn't cover in either of those. Now it's a third time with Philadelphia coming in, laying the five. Any thought on this, if no official play, real quick, Scott? Yeah, I've got some value on Arizona, and I'm kind of like you guys. I mean, uh, I could, you know, rattle off all these stats. Philly, number one, yards per pass. Arizona, number 24. That doesn't work. Arizona, number 32 in yards per pass. Philly, number two. That doesn't work. Uh, Kyler Murray, the worst in the league as far as starting quarterbacks in intended air yards per pass, so they're not getting the ball down the field. Yet, all that said, you know, I've got this at about maybe a a two-and-a-half-point line right now, uh, and – you know, I'm a little worried about parent playing Arizona, but um, and my numbers have supported Philadelphia pretty well this year, so I kind of trust that they're kind of right. So if this thing keeps creeping up, uh, especially if it got the six, I would probably get on Arizona and take my chances. But for now, neither guy on this game officially with the Cardinals hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. 